You came back. Welcome back. It is nice to see you again. Well, we can't really see them, no, but they can no. see us. And they, they, you get the point. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about lemon water. Lemon water, how to do it, all of its healing properties, why it's so important. And then at the end, we're going to do some frequently asked questions. Lemon water. Seems so simple, right? Yeah. Well, all you need is a lemon or a lime and some water. So water, the water that comes from your tap and even bottled water is not living or alive and it's lost all of its life force. Yeah, so the tap water, the tap water that we currently get out of our faucets, they contains fluoride, which is aluminum byproduct and then it also contains chlorine and so you can see that with these these toxic chemicals added to our water there's no way anything can be alive um, on top of that the the tap water comes from the rainwater right so let's talk about the rainwater when the rain when it's raining that rain is falling from the sky but when it's falling it's it's met with with some uh, immediate obstacles, the radiation, the vaporized toxic heavy metals, chemtrails, uh, the pollution, you know, there's pollution on a daily basis that ends up up there and, and the rain has to get through it. So by the time the rain makes it its way down, you can see there's no life left. And then that, that water eventually ends up in our uh, waterways, all of our lakes and streams and eventually down to the ocean. So you can see there's really no life left by the time the water actually makes it to its final destination. By adding fresh squeezed lemon juice to your water, you're then waking up the water, <laughs> bringing it back to life. Now that it's alive, it can travel more deeply into your tissues and cells in your body. So decades ago, Anthony, he used to travel around and he would give these talks and they were like healing talks on how to heal chronic illness and, and mystery symptoms. And one of the, the key things he brought up was lemon juice in water first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. And it caught on everybody started doing it and so Anthony is the originator of the uh, lemon juice in the water first thing in the morning to mm -hmm. start your detox 
Very shortly after learning about the medical medium information, we then learned about the lemon water. Now, we were always good about drinking a ton of water because we knew it was important to stay hydrated. However, we had no idea the importance of putting lemon in all the water that we drank. And then we just started putting lemons in everything. Literally everything, like, you get lemon, you get lemon, you get lemon. <laughs> we were putting it in our waters, we were putting it in our teas, we were putting it in all the sauces we were making. Salad dressing. We were putting it on our food. I mean, we didn't realize how many things lemons actually go good with and taste good too. Especially after learning the healing properties of it. Yeah. So first thing in the morning is going to be the most important time that you bring in that lemon water. Why is that? Well, when you're sleeping, your liver is working extremely hard to collect all these sorts of bad toxins and things from your body. So you wake up, it's collected all of these toxins, and what do you need to do? You need lemon water to help flush that out. Otherwise, what it's gonna do is just the, the toxins are gonna settle back in and your liver is even gonna be holding onto them and that's just more of a burden on your liver. So with any sort of detoxification process, you need water to flush that out and lemon water is really gonna boost that up and help it so much more. Yep. So here's how we do our lemon water. We wake up first thing in the morning, we'll then brush our teeth and do a mouthwash. It's really important to get all of the bacteria out of your mouth. That way when you go to drink your lemon water, you're not pushing it back down into your stomach. And then after we've done our mouthwash and our brushing of our teeth, we'll then make 32 ounces of lemon water. And we use a whole lemon in those 32 ounces. Anthony said that the minimum would be 16 ounces of water with a half a lemon. So if you want to do more, then that's great. All right, so to get started, what you're going to need is a lemon. So it can be a lemon or lime, either or is fine. Uh, typically when, when we're picking out our lemons, we look for the, uh, the softer ones. The softer they are, the more juicy they are. And typically during the off seasons, you, uh, you'll get some, some lemons or some limes that end up pretty dry. Uh, the other thing you want to watch out for is if you decide, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buy some lemon juice. Well, will the lemon juice work just like the the lemons? No. So you don't want to go and buy lemon juice and and put that in your lemon water because typically there's <clears throat> a lot of MSGs in there, which can end up causing some problems down the road. So you want to avoid any sort of lime or lemon juice and making your water that way. We cut our lemon into four slices. That way you're maximizing the amount of juice that you're getting. So I'm going to cut it here, there, okay. Take it by my. <laughs> Sorry. I want some juice. <laughs> you can also cut it the other way. Okay, so now we have our lemon slices and then we need our water. Can you go get that for us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we have a Berkey water filter, which is great because it will filter out everything. It filters out the fluoride and the chlorine that is in your tap water. So it's going to make it the most pure, but it's still not living. So that lemon is what's going to awaken it. Yeah, we love our Berkey. <laughs> All right, and then we take our lemon slices and put it in a lemon squeezer. So let's do that. Yeah, so we're using a just uh, like a lemon squeezer here. We just got it, it's a KitchenAid one, but you know, we're not too happy with it because it's got plastic. This yellow part here, it's, it's starting to break. Made out of plastic and it's starting to kind of break apart here because it's plastic. Um, if anybody has suggestions out there on something that they use to squeeze their lemons, 
we'd really love to hear about it. So definitely comment in the dis in the uh, section below there and uh, and tell us your thoughts or tell us what what you'd like to use. So if you take any supplements, you do that kind of towards the end of your lemon water. We'll drink our lemon water and then just like the last bit is what we'll use to take our supplements. That way it can just focus on flushing the liver and then you bring your supplements in at the end. All right, last one here. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so we got our lemon waters ready. So we're going to just do a little cheers here. Cheers to everybody out there. Mm. Good. That's good. So, you don't only have to make this with just lemon and waters. You can add some other ingredients if you like as well. So you can add, you can add honey and what the honey will do is the honey will actually restore your glucose in your body right at the the uh, start of your day which is very helpful then you can also add some grated ginger in there if you wanted to as well uh, we typically don't do that typically we'll just do the the uh, lemon or the lime water in the morning in the morning yeah and then we will have uh, lemon waters throughout the day and the, the waters we have throughout the day typically will have honey in them or we'll put some ginger in them so we're still having these things we're just not having them at the the beginning of our day we're sticking to the lemon water uh, right first thing in the morning and then uh, after that waiting 15 to 30 minutes and then drinking our celery juice yeah and the, the lemon water with the honey is really delicious. Mm -hmm. It's like a clean lemonade. So we love drinking that. And make sure that you buy raw honey because if it's not raw, then that means it's been heated up. And when honey reaches a certain temperature, it loses its medicinal properties. Mm -hmm. Also, with your lemon water, make sure you're not heating that up as well because when the lemon reaches a certain heat, it's also going to lose its medicinal properties. Yes, exactly. And while we're talking about the heating of the lemon water, that's actually one of our frequently asked questions. Yeah. So let's transition into that and go through some of the frequently asked questions with lemon water. Something you don't want to do is add apple cider vinegar to your lemon water or your water or take shots of it in the morning <laughs> don't don't do anything with apple cider vinegar it is extremely toxic for us and that goes for all vinegar uh, it pickles your liver it's extremely acidic for us so it ends up stealing oxygen from the bloodstream, stealing oxygen from the liver. Yeah, and the reason why we're doing the lemon water is to help your liver and to help flush it out. So... Seems counterproductive to what you're actually trying to do, right? You're taking the lemon water to flush the liver and then you're putting in vinegar. And now all of a sudden your liver has to fight off that vinegar. So it stops everything that it was doing before, it stops removing the toxins from your system, it stops the flushing, and now it's on high alert. Because now there's this toxic substance in your body that it's got to fight off. Yeah. So avoid apple cider vinegar at all costs, it's bad news. Yep. So another rumor going around, well, a rumor that's been going around for a while, I know you all have heard that lemon or limes can be really bad for your teeth, the enamel on your teeth and possibly causing tooth decay. What we've learned is that they're super mineralizing and contain a lot of calcium, which is going to be good for your teeth. Mm -hmm. And the lemon or lime, what they do is they kill the bacteria that's in your mouth and around your teeth, which is going to prevent tooth decay. Yeah, and so that's extremely important when it comes to 
the next thing on the menu, and that is <laughs> the celery juice, right? So you're gonna wait 15, 20 minutes, and then you're gonna have your celery juice. Well, the reason that, that lemon water is so important and such a great thing for the, the next thing on the menu is the celery juice will go to battle with a lot of the bacteria. Bacteria in your mouth, bacteria in your intestines. So it's making celery's job a lot easier, right? The celery juice now doesn't have to go to battle with that bacteria in the mouth in the bacteria in the intestines because the, the lemon juice, the lemon water, uh, is, is making, making a, it an easy journey, easier journey for the celery juice. Yeah, kind of making like a clean shoot for that celery yep. juice, less for it to come up to battle with. Yep. All right, so what does everybody think? You think you're gonna try some, some lemon water or some lime water? Yes. You think you're gonna do it right now or tomorrow no do it now <laughs> go get a lemon go get a lime get a knife cut it open if you have some at the house great if not get to the store i'm sure now that they know all of the benefits that they are gonna do it now. i hope so i yeah. hope so so i know it some of you might be thinking oh my gosh like i can't add one more thing to my morning routine i'm so busy you can make it the night before that is no problem yeah, you can even, if you're just like super busy and you can't seem to fit it into your schedule, lemons and limes are great because they're super easy to travel with. So you can grab one and you can take it to work with you, throw it in your purse, your pocket, your backpack, work bag, whatever, and take it with you to work. We hope you enjoyed this medical medium information. For more healing information just like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Yeah, and if you liked this video and you think that you might have a friend or a neighbor or a family member, someone that might benefit from this healing information, share it with them. Send this video out. We know that everybody should be incorporating lemon water into their daily routine every morning. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. See ya.